Hello, this is Malik, and welcome to, well, the second part of my little tutorial-y thing. Don't worry, I'll get back to the Let's Play in no time. Uh, just had a couple of good suggestions, and I thought I might as well follow them up. So, uh, so yeah, it was a uh, get on with it. The, the first thing I'm actually going to show you is a pretty straightforward little redstone thing. Um, it's basically a pulsar. Now, if you don't know what one of these is, it's really just a circuit that flashes on and off. Now, you probably saw this in good effect when I was doing my 3,000 subscribers episode. Because I actually put a little pulsar off screen and hooked all my lamps to it, all my little torches, redstone torches, so they start flashing on and off. Really straightforward. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, there are... The, the general idea is you put five torches in a big circle, linking to each other. So there you go, there's one. And the general gist of it is you have to have them linking together like this. Now you see that, that's on, so that's active. And because that's active, it feeds into this torch to force it to turn off. And then, I'm going to do that. Why did I have to pick a snowy world? Well, I didn't pick one, but why did I have to stick to it? Now, there's compact ways of doing this. This particular one is probably going to be fairly, you know, big compared to how you can make them. I mean, I've seen them very compact, but it's just nice to be able to see exactly how you do it. Let's just dig that away, shall we? Okay, and then finally we hook this one up. Actually, it's going to have to come out here. Now, before I hook up this last bit, the way it generally works is that'll be on, that'll be off, on, off, on, off. Oh, but that's on. So it'll switch off, then that'll go on, that'll go off, that'll go on, that'll go on. And it basically creates this loop. Now, you have to have an odd number. And three is too few. You do three and it burns out. Right then. And there we go. The chicken is very, very impressed. Look at it. Oh, it's actually scared now. So there you go. We have a little pulsar. And obviously you can run... ...more off here and obviously have them alternating at different rates. So if you really want to be clever... Stupid chicken. You could basically, very quickly... So there you go. There's the very noisy door slamming thing. And obviously you could hide the redstone so that it's under the ground or on top of the doors or coming in from the side or whatever. But yeah, that's uh, basically how you do a pulsar. Pretty basic stuff. Not a huge number of uses. But you can hook them together with other things to slow down the pulse. And I've got some ideas for that that I might have for a future episode. So... Uh, so yeah, pretty basic stuff. Woo! Hello. Okay. This is going to be something that almost every single one of you probably knows how to do. But you never know, there may be some of you that are not 100% sure. And it's basically infinite water sources plain and simple. I'm going to keep it brief um, and uh, and yeah, you never know, it might help some of you. So what you basically need to do, and this is the, there's a couple of different ways you can do it, but the quickest way is digging a trench that's three wide. 
then you pick up some water pick up another bucket of water that's all you need is two put one at one end and one at the other and you'll notice suddenly all the water goes calm now if I scoop up from the middle calm, middle, calm, middle, calm and basically I can take as much out of that middle bit as I want and I can empty all those into any water source now if I take an end tile you notice how it doesn't go calm ever again you can only take from the middle and take from the other end put it back so it's only that middle bit that it then goes calm again now you can get around that sort of oddity if you follow me um, by making a perfectly square pit for this one we grab two buckets put one in that corner and one in that corner opposite corners and at that point it then becomes calm again and because this is completely symmetrical in all directions you can take any corner you can take that corner that corner that corner that corner doesn't matter which corner you take it will always refill and become calm again and that's the important thing the moment it's calm that means you know that every tile is a proper water source tile it's really up to you how much space you want to use up um, now the reason the general rule it seems is that if a tile say the middle one here is surrounded by two other water tiles it will then flow and become its own water source and the same is true here any corner has two adjacent filled tiles so that seems to be the rule as a swimming chicken hmm fair enough um, now before you get all excited and start thinking about uh, how you can use this uh, in other ways there's no point trying it with lava it does not work if I dig the trenches again, little pits and I go to this convenient lava pool here isn't that convenient? and I take this corner here now you'll notice actually unlike the water it actually stays flowing and if I try and take directly down from there I can't take anything I can take from that corner though so I've got two lava one in that corner or one in that end, one in that end I'm waiting, waiting, no that's never going to become huh. sorry something minimized my window then. Um, so that's never going to become calm, in fact I can't take anything from that you can listen, listen, to, listen to my click. Ah, see, can't take anything from there. I can take the ends, and then I've got the lava back. So lava, unfortunately, does not work in the same way as water. I haven't got the same physics, and I'll even, for the sake of completeness, that corner, opposite corner. It creates a strange flowing pattern, but it never becomes calm and you can never take from the corners you didn't originally fill so unfortunately no infinite lava for you that's pretty much it really just that little simple demonstration just to help some of you out and uh, I will leave it at that for this particular little mini tutorial goodbye